Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Elric, here in the motherboards.org YouTube channel. You bros know I'm over at CES right now, but that doesn't matter. We're still hard at work bringing you guys videos. You guys saw the HD7970 and R7970 launched last week from our two other partners, Sapphire and XFX. That said, we've got now the Crossfire video for you folks, mixing the Sapphire and XFX card together for a serious Crossfire configuration. Let's jump right in. Okay, a couple of things to take note though of before we jump into the actual benchmarks. These two cards were clocked differently. The XFX card, it was their black edition and it was overclocked. It had a core clock of a thousand megahertz. And the Sapphire card, it had a core clock the same as the reference card at 925 megahertz. So what I actually did is I tried doing it a couple different ways, but in the end, I just ended up matching both the cards to the XFX card and they both ran fine. Now, if some of you guys out there running Crossfire test, you notice that one of the cards, the fan, stops working completely? Well, if it's not working, these cards actually have such a good cooling efficiency that one of the fans actually just shuts down by itself automatically if it doesn't need the cooling. When we first saw this, I was like, holy crap, something must be going on wrong. The dang fan's not spinning anymore. I thought maybe there's something wrong with the card. But after researching it, find out that it's actually just being better efficient cooling. So now that said, let's just jump in and let's see how these cards did in Crossfire X. Okay, so you guys have seen the results. Like usual, I want you guys to take something in mind. These are brand new drivers. All the drivers we're using are the various early drivers that have come out for the 7970. And as the drivers mature, you guys all know, performance improves as time goes by and as drivers mature. We saw in these games, sometimes between zero, there were some games that just actually showed no percentage increase at all using Crossfire, all the way up to about 60 to 70% on other games, just depending what the application was. Hopefully with future drivers, we're gonna see a lot better performance. That said, the 7970 is still the fastest single GPU card that you can get your hands on in the world today, and two of them is gonna cost you about 1100 bucks out of your pocket if you wanna run them in Crossfire mode. Also, I would say if you're gonna go out and spend this much money and pay cards, I would try to find a custom cooled water solution so you can push them even farther. Thanks a lot to XFX for Sapphire participating and thanks you guys for watching motherboards.org.